Next, I would like to invite a dear friend, the former U.S. Special Envoy to monitor and combat anti-Semitism, Ilan Carr. Ilan Carr is currently also sitting on the board, the advisory board of the combat anti-Semitism movement. I would like to mention, especially, that when he was a Special Envoy, Ilan, led many of the agreements that we have seen in the news from the Abraham Accords. He helped building the strategy that we have seen today in the Middle East to forge this unity among our country that helped building unity among our faiths. Thank you, Ilan, for being with us today. Well, Sasha, thank you, and thank you all. I can't think of a more important day to be doing something like this than on Tisha B'Av, where in the Jewish tradition, we learn that gratuitous hatred between brothers uh, leads to community ruin. That is really the message of the day today. And so on a day like this, to come together with our interfaith brothers and sisters, to talk about brotherhood and sisterhood, and to talk about our shared heritage is so deeply important and such an answer to so many of the tragedies of the past. I myself, and if you'll allow me to start with, with a little bit of a personal story, um, I myself am a Jew uh, from uh, a, a long lineage of Iraqi Jewish families. And uh, my, my uh, uh, family's first language was Arabic. Uh, we grew up with Muslims. Uh, and we learned personally through our experience and through a history that dates back a thousand years that Jews and Muslims not only can have a remarkable relationship, but can grow together and strengthen each other as Jewish communities throughout the Middle East and throughout the Muslim world have been able to do uh, throughout much of the time uh, that uh, Jews existed um, uh, with Islam and, and uh, many times under Muslim rule, a, a Muslim rule that for, for many parts of history was incredibly tolerant and, and encouraging of Jews and, Muslim, and, and Christians uh, in the Middle East. And so because of that, when I was special envoy, some of my proudest moments were uh, reaching out to inter interethnically and interfaith to, uh, to Muslims as well as Christians, but to Muslims in the Middle East. And so first of all, I had the great honor of partnering with Muslim groups to fight for the rights of Muslim and Jewish communities together in Europe. For example, the rights of circumcision and also the rights of, of eating kosher halal food, which has been limited in many, in many parts of the world. And it was a, a profound honor for me, together with our ambassador for international religious freedom, Sam Brownback, to fight for the rights that Jews and Muslims together have to live complete religious lives wherever we live in the world. And also one of my proudest moments as special envoy was signing an agreement with the King Hamad Center of Bahrain to combat anti-Semitism together, to come together to fight Jew hatred and by extension, of course, to fight all kinds of hatred throughout the Middle East, in schools, in texts, to, to teach children about the remarkable joint history we have and to replace um, what sadly had become in the last um, you know, in the, the last this past century uh, has become tension, but replaced that tension with real uh, interfaith appreciation and affection. And you know, in the course of those negotiations, uh, we realized how much we have in common. Um, the idea that the world was created by God, uh, the 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 same God that we all worship, and the idea that each and every human soul has infinite value and that we are here for a purpose, and God put us in this world for a purpose. Um, that is, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's like we say, when you focus on differences, you'll never get anywhere. But when you look at what you have in common, it is breathtaking how much we can do together. And that's why I'm so proud, Sasha said, now I currently serve on the advisory council of CAM. I couldn't be prouder of the work that the combat anti-Semitism movement is doing in this arena. CAM has made it it's top priority to reach out um, to, our, to our Muslim and to our Christian brothers and work on initiatives together uh, that, that allow us to strengthen our relationships, uh, to fight hatred, and to bring our communities together. 
And so it is a, a great pleasure and an honor for me to be with you. I can't thank you enough. I'm really moved that that we're doing this today on this particular date of significance uh, for uh, for Jewish history. And uh, and I leave you with uh, with uh, shalom aleichem, assalamu alaikum, and uh, God willing. Uh, may we uh, build that better, stronger, more peaceful, and more loving world that our children and grandchildren so deeply deserve.